the steam engine for its type is the fastest land vehicle. And the steam team are the power behind freight and express services that make up the Northwestern Railway. The year was 1912 and James the Red Engine was built and sent to a railway in the very north of England. Three engines were made for this railway, Toby and Oliver. Oliver would later inspire the design for GWR 14 X class of engines. Toby arrived in 1914 and Oliver arrived in 1916. They worked great. A fourth engine would be sent to work here. He was called number three but he would later become Henry. In 1922, Toby and Oliver left. Oliver left for the GWR. Toby left to run a small tramway. Meanwhile, another engine arrived to help James and Henry. He was number four. He would later be named Gordon. Henry would also leave in 1922. Gordon left in 1923 and James left in 1924. Meanwhile on Toby's tramway, Toby worked there for many years. But after the Second World War, the tramway's success would begin to fade. Buses and lorries took most of Toby's jobs. He had a coach named Henrietta and also pulled seven trucks full of stuff. By the time it was the spring of 1951, Toby only carried three or four trucks. The spring of 1951 is also when I decided to take my wife and kids on a vacation to East Anglia. We came there first by 10 cents then we took a bus the rest of the way. That's when we met Toby. He was waiting for his three trucks to be filled. Look at that silly engine. That's a tram Stephen. Is it electric? Quiet Bridget. You've offended him. But trams are electric. We even have one on solder. His name is Stafford. They are mostly, but this is a steam tram. Let's see if we can go in it, Grandfather, please. We all scrambled into Henrietta just as Toby was about to leave. Toby was still upset. Electric indeed. Electric indeed. He was proud of being a steam tram. What is your name? I'm Toby, sir. Thanks again Toby for a very nice ride. You're welcome. This gentleman is a gentleman who knows how to speak to engines. We came every day for two weeks. Sometimes we rode with the conductor, sometimes in empty cars. On the last day of all the driver invited us into his cab. We were all sorry when they had to go away and Sir Topham Hatt and his family thanked everyone. Come again soon. We will, we will. They waved till Toby was out of sight. The months passed. Toby had few cars and fewer passengers. Our last day, Toby. The manager says we must close tomorrow. That day, everyone wanted the chance of the last ride. The passengers joked and sang, but Toby and his driver wished they wouldn't. So many people showed up to say goodbye that some had to go inside an empty truck.
Goodbye, Toby. We're sorry your line was closing down. So am I. Nobody wants me. Toby thought and went unhappily to sleep. Next morning, the shed was flung open and old Toby woke with a start to his driver waving a piece of paper at him. Wake up, Toby. The mail has just arrived and there's a letter for us from the stout gentleman. Maybe it's good news. It was good news. Earlier the day before Toby's old line closed, Thomas had gotten in trouble with the police for not having cowcatchers and side plates. After the police spoke to me, I knew what I had to do. I bought Toby and Henrietta from the tramway which was why it was closing. He quickly became friends with everyone. Except James. Who thought Toby looked ugly. Neither James or Toby remembered that they used to work on the same line. Why are you red James? Because I am ready for anything. That's why you needed bootlaces. To be ready. That never happened. Later that day, James crashed into some tar wagons that Percy was pulling. That wasn't enough to convince James to become friends with Toby. The two engines did eventually become friends. But I will have to save that for a future story. Here is a song about Toby. By the time that 1952 had rolled around, Toby had basically been accepted as the number 7 engine on my railway. Wilbert Audrey even wrote his seventh book about him that year named Toby the Tram Engine. The stories took place in 1951. Thank you all for watching season 1 of the Northwestern Adventures. And I'm sure there will be many more adventures to come from the steam team. team.